Eric Mwadha at Mwadha.com. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at why sometimes a stock that is breaking out does not do as well as you might think or might suspect. And this, sometimes the stock can tell you what could be in store down the road. Now, here's a good example. There's a stock that was breaking out last week, MTBC. So this is the chart. And you can see on the weekly chart, this is a nice breakout by the end of last week where the stock clears the prior weekly closing high and closes at a fresh multi-year weekly closing high. Now that's the weekly. If you take a look at the monthly, you can see that the monthly also met the minimum requirements. You can see here the RSI was moving above 69.1. We can even say there was another monthly breakout here that was successful. And we can see that this meets the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout there should be a link in the description of the video explaining this method so it met the minimum requirements no problem about the minimum requirements but I'll show you a reason for concern and why I chose not to play this is if you take a look at this monthly chart you can see here we had this move here but even though it moved higher during this month, it gave up all these gains here. So it gave up all these gains here. And then the next month it moved higher, but it gave up a lot of gains. You can see the high for the month was at about 380, but it closed at $2. That's a big reversal. And then even here was a huge pullback. The highs were about, let's call it 540, only to close under 320. So that's a big drop. In other words, if you take a look at the weekly chart, you can see again, we lose a lot of the gains here. Because that's the high, that's the close. That's the high for the week, that's the close for the week here. It gave back more than half of the gain. So what I was thinking that even though the stock was breaking out last week, my feeling was that the stock has a history of losing gains. In other words, even here, it lost its gains for that week. And that's why I was very skeptical about the opportunity for the upside move here. And if we take a look at the current move, if you include today's move, today being a Monday, we can see the stock has gone back to its losing ways. Now we are showing more than a 24-25% drop. And really, if you look at this, it is only doing what it has done in the past. Intraday or intraweek highs only to close here. Intraweek highs only to close here. Intraweek highs only to end the week here. So losing a lot of gains. And so we closed here last week but we open this week with a big drop. And that's why I'm saying it's, it's important that before we buy a stock to make sure that it doesn't have the tendency of losing gains. And if you see a stock that tends to lose gains, it's more than likely going to do the same thing once you buy it. So be on the lookout for stocks that don't have a history of holding on to their gains. And sometimes this is why some breakouts fail. Now we can see the stock has dropped back below the prior weekly closing high in other words it looks like a the beginning of a failed breakout so always check the history of a stock to see whether it holds on to its gains pretty much you want to avoid stocks that do not know how to hold on to their gains eric mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s